We are going to the supermarket. If I was mayor for a day, I would ban these. I bet that's delicious. It smells good. How's it taste? Tastes good. Yes. How's it taste? It's so good. Wow, it's crazy night at the Blaskies. Look at your stomachs, guys. Stop <laughs> making me laugh because I need the loot. Good morning, Georgie Corridge Cole. How are you? Oh, thanks. How was your weekend? So good. I sound so hoarse. Did you have a couple of drinks? I really didn't drink oh. very much. We sang and sang and oh. talked all weekend. This is a singing injury. This is, this is, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Saturday night, we probably sang three hours. We were singing Gangster's Paradise, Renegade Master, nice. I'm a Dreamer, 90s, Hit. I ran my friend's kitchen in Cornwall. So much fun. I spent the weekend with seven other girls I was at school with from the age of 11. We were at boarding school and like the bond is some of them I literally haven't seen one of them I probably not spent more than two hours in a massive group with her in the last decade you but see each other and it's like nothing's changed it's literally the happiest weekend so nice georgie college call what's on your desk oh i'm excited about this it's here it's here that's my diamond tennis bracelet last week. Oh, how did you lose it? It had a safety cat at the diamond store. Safety cat just broke. And I've lost my bracelet that I've had for eight years. It was just pretty, 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 pretty. And I've had it for eight years and I lost it. But on the upside. On the upside. <laughs> Monica Vinader sent me something. I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, these little boxes. Here we go. How up. pretty is that? Okay, that makes me feel better about my tennis bracelet. Oh my god, that's so lush, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Monica. We love you, Monica. Aren't you amazing our entrepreneur, see? She was great. Love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I really, 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 really love it. We really, really wanted the Spice Girls. Did you sing that? We had two become one. Two become one. That is what's on my desk. That is gorge, 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 gorge. Happy Monday. What's going on? I've got something else to show you from Manners. What's Manners? This is SR Man related. It's quite cool. New cool street golfer brand. Success is all about taking something a bit stuffy and making it cool again. One from the classics and one from the Scottish Highlands collection. I wanted to show you all knitted in the UK best Jojo. Hashtag wear your manners. My husband was looking for new golfer recently. Couldn't find anywhere. He bought loads, sent a whole lot back. This is the thing I really love. This is the thing I saw Jojo wearing and I was like, that is cool. Isn't that wicked? He was wearing it with a white t-shirt underneath. So cool. Love, love, love. Anyway, you got a man who you're shopping for at the moment. Get into manners. I'm not sure we needed to reverse down the entire road. It would have been far simpler to just drive down and turn around. Good morning, by the way. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing, you okay? I'm good. I'm quite excited about this. Where are we today? We are at Blake's London. Beautiful kitchen. Someone I know has got one of their kitchens and I've seen the pictures. It's just epic. We are here to interview one of the founders, Jamie, who is an interior designer by trade. All about the process of getting a new kitchen, what you need to consider, what the important things are, what you need to spend money on, what you can save money on, what the trends are, what people are going for at the moment. They really are the best in the business. And I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. I'm in the market for a kitchen. Kind of got my eye on these guys. Who knows? Maybe they're going to be the one for me. What are you hoping to find? The person level something really beautiful quite chic timeless something that's not going to date and something that's different hi these guys all about the design process and modern living hi i'm jamie blake founder and creative director of blake's london design led joining manufacturing business specializing in bespoke chemistry manufacture oh look at the tiles where are the tiles from columbia road mosaic d'osseur that is a thick bit of marble. That is the money. But you can fake that, can't you? It is fake. That's fake. It's, it's mitered. Mitered. Now, this is only a 20 more slab. So Top I'm... kitchen tip. This looks amazing, don't get me wrong. But this looks the money. And this is just fake to oh. make it look like a hunking slab of marble. This is beveled that way, this is beveled that way, and then it mitres in and it's glued and clamped to form a 900 more block marble. Or... I mean, yeah. can we just talk about this? <laughs> amazing, right? What is this called? This is a statuaria. There's millions of marbles out there, dark and light. And with aggression comes rarity and cost aggression strength of the bleed a more average slab would be more cloudy this is less aggressive this is a corral less differentiation between white and gray and basically more aggressive more money plus women plus cars where the benefit of natural versus man-made goes it might be really thick here how do you man make marble like this alliteration but these are man-made this is a porcelain tile this is a quartz so it's not actually marble it's, it's got lots of yes very good pros and cons versus marble and man-made this marble is softer and it can be susceptible to some staining so the porcelain you want to stain yeah there, yeah there's 
It's not something I would ever do. Man-made stuff. It doesn't look as good. I'm all about tactile and natural I'm aging with you. A marble, yes, it might mark, but obviously if you spoil something, you're not going to leave it to stain anyway. It's a bit like asking a interior designer if you can mix paint. The answer is no. He's never going to say I mean, no, he's a fake marble. But if no, you're on a budget, that's okay. quite cool. We're interior designers by trade. Bespoke offering. Don't have any ranges. Design something to suit the client's needs. What is your favorite thing in this room? Is that design over there? Eclectic mix of the carpentry, timber doors, concrete paneling on the walls. This is the kitchen. Jamie will be too modest, but Blake's use of timber and marble has yeah. gone quite viral, hasn't yeah. it? And mixing it with the shaker. Obviously, how you accessorize and how you change details. Mixing it with the timber in a contemporary style. We tried about six or seven years ago, and it just has taken off. You think that an Arga marble wood that that could just look so current, but also so, so timeless. It's really clever, isn't it? What makes a good kitchen? Carefully considered spaces. It's listening to how someone uses the space. Well designed, large spaces to prepare, large storage areas, getting everything out of the way, clearing the clutter off the worktop. I know what these are. Do you know what these are, Rich? The world's most expensive doors. Well, you get what you pay for, right? To my bar and my door oh. is now going to slide in. I mean, how cool is that? It's a nice action. You'd like that, Rich, wouldn't you? I would like that. And then you have all your vintage whiskey. <laughs> this is cool, Jamie. This is a stackaway dresser, breakfast bar, insert spices, coffee pods, functional, all your whiskeys, all your bar, if it's a bar, or coffee machine, toaster. Yes. Hide it away. Chill out to viewers. You're going to enjoy this. Are you ready? Three, ready. two, one. Oh, I mean, you know that sketch with Michael McIntyre when he goes, Oh, Five Spice, I've been stuck at the back of the cupboard for years. No longer Five Spice. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. That is porn for women. It's poor for me. I can I, never find my spice. Wow, that is cool. Timber flooring degraded in the kitchen, so it's a very high traffic area. I'm putting a tile down. This is porcelain. That's porcelain? Well, you're standing on porcelain right now. Yes, this is porcelain parquet. We had these laser cut to suit the size of the parquet. Mind blown. Is this like antique or something? No, it's porcelain tile. In the so the porcelain so, stops here and the wood starts there. So this is porcelain, this oh. is wood. Oh. This is porcelain, this is wood. Oh right. This is porcelain, oh, this is see. wood. And this is the lounge area, this is a dining area, and then when it moves to the kitchen, it moves into porcelain. It's clever. It's uh, clever. Oh, no, no. It. I mean hello. 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 Rich, this is the dream. It's incredible. I've never seen this anywhere else. Wood panelling. In the kitchen. You love wood panelling. I love wood panelling. Amazing. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Georgie, what are we doing now? I'm going to interview Jamie. We're writing a piece on the site about Blake. That's why we're here. So, are you ready, Jamie? I am. Uh, Tell me about your background. How did it all begin? I sort of misfit youth, really. My father used to collect classic cars. On the weekends, I used to lick them and take them for little joy rides. And I happened to dent or crash a few. He made me pay him back by working in his business, which was a joinery manufacturing business at the time, sweeping showroom floors. So I ended up cutting boards. I saw timber, plain timber. And I started joining manufacturing. You know, the trade of carpentry by the default. It's developed a love for the knowledge of how things are put together. Nowadays, the trend is to have the kitchen in your living space. Beautiful design, beautiful cabinetry as well as functional. No cabinets on the walls and no extractor no Can we finish with a few quick fires? Handles or no handles? A bit of bush. Shaker or panel? Mix of designs. Brass or chrome? Brass. Dark or light? Mid colour. Marble or quartz? Marble. Tile floor or wood floor? Timber. Wood floor. The kitchen that I've seen of yours, have you got a book with some of your kitchens in? Good. Those cupboards are in. Incredible. That's cool. So you've got tiles in the back of that cupboard. Yeah, herringbone pink tiles in the back of the cupboard. Oh, that's an amazing photo. Wow, look. That one over there it just makes my heart sing. Can you show me a kitchen that features that wood panelling? Wow. <laughs> that island. Oh, those cupboards. That floor. Fuck, look at that, Rich. How did that go? I really want one of their kitchens. You need one though, right? I do, I do, I do. I need one ASAP. That white panelled kitchen. I think they're really clever. I think he's really clever and you can tell he's an interior designer. It just feels like so different to so many kitchen companies. It's just like such passion for the cabinetry and it's how they take a shaker kitchen and they make it more modern. Take panelling that you think belongs in a hallway or in a sitting room, put it on cabinets. How they take raw wood and combine it with marble and all these textures and it's just so, so unique. It's a pretty cool thing we got going on. So you're going to do it? We'll see. Watch the space. Yeah, I know exactly hey, Jess. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, very well. What have you got there? Pink pram. Pink pram, is it for Lotus. you? Is what I like to do on my weekends. What are you going to do? See if it needs assembly. But it looks like you just have to put the wheels on. Georgie, what have you got there? Oh my god, look. Does she push it or go in? Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? What's in there? It's from my little baby girl. Does it come with a little handbag? Oh my god, she is going to die. <laughs> I'm gonna let my child morph into my vlog. She's gonna absolutely pee her pants with excitement. She's gonna wanna wheel it to nursery. I'm off. 
It's enormous! I think you could get Hero in here. Do you want to give your bags too big? Sorry. Sorry. My buggy. Is she going to be able to reach the... So. She's going to grow anyway. She'll grow into it. I your daughter. literally think it's the most amazing thing ever. How am I going to get it home? Hey. Good morning, Eloise. Good morning, Rich. What are we doing today? We're doing a Louise Via Roma unboxing. How's it going to run? We're going to have the girls sat in front of the colorama. Two boxes. Neither of them know what each other has. We're going to unbox, have a try on. We're just going to have a bit of fun, I think. Is there anything that you like? Them. Oh, those. Oh. oh. What are you, you wearing today? I'm wearing oh. like this. Oh, your boots. The Arquette? Yeah, the Arquette ones. Good. Would you stick or twist? Would you keep those or would you exchange them for these guys? Oh, oh, oh. a pint. It's a bit I sassy. prefer mine. Hi. Hi. Oh, good. nice boot. Yeah. What brand are those ones? Those ones are Arquette. Which remember. one's these? Sergio Rossi. Who would have thought? What are we doing today? An unboxing for Louise Via Roma. It's a show segment running in a few weeks. Lou and I have each picked our favourite pieces from the site. When I say our favourite pieces, you could go a little nuts on Louise Via Roma. So we've picked our favourite pieces within a certain price bracket. Because it's massive. I mean, it's not just that it's massive. They have the best of the best. Some of their amazing pieces are like thousands. I think everything we've got is kind of within the 500, under the 500 pound mark. We tried hard to keep it relatively affordable. You talk me through what product do you have? Well, I can run you through my product because obviously I haven't seen Lou's. Oh. First up, I have Alberto this jumper, which is by Alberto Ferretti. I just guessed um, that. They, well done. Self-portrait dress. When it comes to evening wear, it doesn't really get much fun than self-portrait and I love this midnight blue. I think it's amazing. Oh, cute. Yeah, this is a black velvet rotate high neck party dress, which is just buff. This blouse, which you might recognize as the Ganny white shirt that we shot recently. And this is the black broderie version of that. And then I have these boots. Obviously, I'm a fan of them. Knee-high boot this season. These are Sergio Rossi. They are Croc with a Western heel point. So they basically got every trend possible. And I've got this Yuzefi bag. A brand I'm obsessed with. Again, really good price point. What is the price point on that? They're, again, they're under 500. They're just so cute. You excited about your product? I'm so excited about your product. Doing an unboxing, which is designer, is so exciting. <laughs> because basically, you just get to try on a wish list for the season. I've got a pair of boots, which I have literally been obsessing about for ages. It looks quite... Flat. We can pull the colour armour out a bit more. I love the chairs. I just think he looks more elegant on that. Okay. A new season means it's time to invest in some new pieces and there's nowhere better to turn to than Louisa Via Roma for really great autumn winter fashion. We thought we'd bring you an unboxing of our favourite pieces. So Lou, what's on the rail? This red Valentino knit. That is so you. It's very knitted choir boy. Love the frill, love the little bow, love the big puff sleeve. It's quite cropped. Oh, I love this. Magda Vitrim blouse. Incredible. Shoulder pads. Such a good going out top. Jumpsuit from Self Portrait. A tuxedo style. Silk lapels. Slits at the front. Elegant and a bit more modern. Got a bit of oily suit vibe about it. Isabel Moore in a trial. Just love the boxy shape. And again, the detail on the sleeves. So cool. Oh, this coat. Isabel Moore in a trial. It's just so nice. It's not that thick. I've been looking for a coat like this for the season ahead. I mean, this is pretty much the dream. Oh my god. Ever seen anything quite so cute? It's from a brand called LM. I just can't. I just. I literally can't even look at it. It's so cute. Then. Oh my god. Another piece that has been on my wish list for. Ever. Saint Laurent ankle boot, no words. As usual, everything will be linked in the show notes below. Do let us know if there are any other unboxings that you'd like to see in the run up to Christmas. Lou, what's happening? What are we about to do? We finished talking through the product and now we're going to do a try on the fun bit where we actually get to put on the clothes. Charlotte yeah. Collins, what are you wearing now? It's this amazing self portrait dress. There's a lot of weddings coming up. I might be in the market for this. Lou Huff, what are you wearing now? Red Valentino knit and it is you. Now wearing the Ganny black broderie blouse. Insane little top from Magda Boutrin. Got this knot here, so it kind of gives the illusion of a big bow. Alberta Ferretti slogan knit. So comfortable, like super cozy. By far, snakeskin boots. But I hope it's sensational. And the boots are just so good. It's just a fun Christmas if you're watching. I like this lush coat, as well we're on. These Saint Laurent boots, lush. How did that go? Really, really good. It was quick, actually. Yeah, it was so quick. I love it when we get these things done. Speedly, no hiccups, and the product is amazing. Yeah, the product really just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, love it's it. It's like good. Autumn investment pieces and a bit of interest in your wardrobe, but also last year. The one piece you would say from a fire? And the by far boots. The prize winner. It's got to be this coat. It's amazing. Okay, will you come up? Okay. Who was that? Georgie. She's running 10 minutes late. For what? We are going to the supermarket. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big day. It's a big day. Lou gets to go to Ain Home. We get to go to Sainsbury's. Yeah, so we're off to Sainsbury's. Why? To get some inspiration for some foodie features. The site. What kind of stuff are we looking for? Everyday shoppable things that will inspire our readers. Oh, what's your favourite aisle? What would you call the aisle where you get all the Asian ingredients? The world foods aisle. The world food. What's your favourite aisle? Seasonal. Christmas at Christmas, Easter, barbecue, Baby. full of loads of rubbish promos. Picnic time and there's like Tupperware everywhere. I love it. What's your favourite aisle in the supermarket? Bakery. Confectionery. I like a cheese aisle. The biscuit aisle. Favourite biscuit? Chocolate aisle. I actually like the cleaning oh. aisle. I like the cereal oh. aisle. What's your favourite cereal? Crunchy nut clusters. So good. The dairy aisle. Cheese. Do you always go the same way in the supermarket? I just follow the bar. No. You don't go for individual things that you want. No, I see. No. 
no, I like to do the whole thing. Do you weave in and out? Kind of weave, but I go in order, but then I just skip <laughs> I weave around. You're going to save some money doing that. Yeah. Like, I like the temptation. Here she is. Uh, which favourite aisle in the supermarket? You're disrupting everybody, everybody. aren't you? What <laughs> favourite aisle in the supermarket? Snacks. Seaweed curl, yes. corn thins, snack jacks. I avoid the supermarket, like the play. We either do online or my husband goes. Do you do the whole of the aisles or do you go for things that you want? No, I go for things I need to get. Do you do every aisle. Yeah. You nip in for a couple of things, but the weekly shop, no. I did it the other day, Fulham Sainsbury's, got to the till, my trolley all in the bag, I left my wallet at home. Right, you've got to be relatively speedy about this. But but you no. Just note that that was Eternal Flame, my karaoke my song. Close your eyes. That's the one I used to sing. Guys, where are we going now? First of all, we are looking to increase our food content. Regina now writes a feature called Supermarket Newness, in which we showcase all the new stuff in the supermarket in the current month. Everyone should be fine. And I feel like there's so many more foodie ideas we could be doing. Like walking up and down the aisles. It's going to really get our creative juices. So give us a flavour for the sort of stuff we could be writing about. Good. You can tell me about that later. We should be advertising on Sherlock. Who are they? Well, I don't know, but they're Whitley, but yeah, they're clearly aimed company. at women. Raspberry vodka, barbecue ginger gin, blackberry gin. Oh, the golden kiwi. You have these kiwis. Oh no. my god, Lod's got me into these. I'm going to do lychee. I love lychee. This is a bit neat. A guide to what potatoes are for what. Fennel hate fennel. Yeah. Freaking love celeriac. This is good. Reusable fruit and veg bags. I could just eat coriander all day long. Yeah, so. Protein noodles. Can we look into those? Fish protein noodles. What about how to make good noodles? Autumnal roast thing. Can I just say that I love this place? It's New Year's Eve, we just bought four of these or something. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, no. Wasabi Sushi and Bento. Wasabi, the lunch place, doing their own brand. That's a chain, isn't it? This is a chain, isn't it? Wasabi. Yeah, it is, yeah. No, it's a sauce. Oh, hot dogs should be banned. If I was mayor for a day, I would ban these. This is just the best one in the whole world. As for this baba ganoush. That baba ganoush is unbelievable. Oh, uh, you could drink it. Have you never had that? Oh, you've got to have it today. I it's so it. good. Oh, Orkney cream. That looks nice. Oh, I bet that's delicious. That's the basket. Oh, what are these? Love your guts. Biomel. I've never seen these before. Dairy free probiotics. Should we try one? What is that? It's a Biomel. Love your gut. Almond salted caramel per 100 ml. 2 calories, 2.4 grams of fat. Okay, that gets my tick. It smells good. How's it taste? Tastes good. I like that. It's really good to get your children to drink that kind of thing every day. No Valley. Do kefir yogurt. Eat and dairy and soy free. I think that's yeah. cool. Primula. Wow. Cheese and prawn. That should be banned yeah. along with the Frankfurt. I can't it. believe it's still existed. Oh, we've still got the top. Yeah, the top, and, and you, when like it came out, it was like a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's got bits of ham in it. That's the word. Oh, a macaroon. A macaroon what? and a meringue. You just put your own stuff in the middle. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. Oh, oh look at these. Should we have one now? Do you want one? Yeah. What are you having now? We are paying for all this, just FYI. Yeah, yeah. I love these guys. Oh, yes. How did it taste? How did it taste? Oh, the 80s. My childhood. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god, no, no. Oh my god, the almond is amazing. <laughs> what treat? Quaker, be good to contact Laura. Well, these are all the brands that should be advertising with Sherlock. Same amount of oats as a bowl of porridge. They like a flapjack. So that's a little bar, is it? I bet that's delicious. But what have we got here? These are Quaker porridge to go. It smells like my lunch. How's it taste? It actually tastes quite homemade, you know. Yeah. 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 Not for that. Mm. Oh, yeah, I really, really like that. Love for a Twix white finger. A bit hungover on a Saturday night in front of Strictly. A few of those. I would also, I would give people these. I do give people these. See, look, those. Those are what we have. I love them, but I think so. I guess it's quite, it's quite 80s. So oh, delicious. I like a bit of that. Oh, me too. I've got no shame. So, you want to line their stomach at the beginning? Wow, it's crazy yeah. night at the Blaskies. Like <laughs> <laughs> right your stomachs, guys. Stop making me laugh, so I need the loop. This happens. Oh. So good. Laura and I love it. About 70 emails since I, I've really got to get back to this section. Oh, oh no, because it's all way. You can't do self scan, run, go to the checkout. Hello, hello. No, 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 because you have to do it for everything. Yeah, no, that's fine. Hi there. Oh, not into you. Right, we might need you again. Can you just hang on? We ate a few things on the way, so that it's not liking the way. So sorry. Thank you so much. Again, I think we're going to have a problem. Oh, right, that was good. They've weighed the button bag, so they know there are three missing. Thank you so much. That's it. Thanks. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. You look like you had a great time. Am I right? Yeah, content inspiration. You know what you're going to write about now? Yep. It'd be really interesting to do a story on placement flowers. Quite extraordinary how many different flowers there are. No longer just. Self raising clay. Oh, oh no. It's a whole other load. It's a whole world of flowers. Just waiting for it. I'm oh, concerned as to my, uh, my parking tickets. So <laughs> don't want to alarm anybody. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about this. Now we're in the smart supermarket. It's lucky we didn't come in here. We'd be another two hours. Well, we'll come back. I we'll see do waitress so. another time. Yeah, I can't wait. Have you lost your parking ticket? Yeah, I think so. I think it's trying to get how much lost the car park. And I haven't not got out of a car park because I've lost a ticket before. Can I check in the car while you're checking the bag? Yeah. Can I find my car key? I was saying last night, I used to be the most organised person. What happened? Shit ups happened. I have officially lost the car card. Inside pocket of your coat? Space in K, Amazon. Very hard to know. Fucking 
dark. You haven't opened your bag. Fuck, I've never done this before. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm just such a moron. But here it is. <sighs> you found it. <sighs> Take two kiwis, go on. I'm quite fascinated by your kiwis, so I might try Yeah, them. trust me, Lars and Sander got me onto those kiwis. Golden kiwis. Once you've had a golden kiwi, you'll Ooh, never go hairy again. Not hairy. Absolutely delicious. Have you paid? No. <laughs> I will be in my pants because I really need the loot. Don't make me laugh. Thank like, God Try I'm sitting it down. Because you can put a card in. Regina right? Blasky, if this doesn't work, then it's I will on your head. Be it. My bladder is not made for all this. Where's my wallet? I mean, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's really how did that go? Pretty well, I think. Laura, how many notes have you written? Uh, two sheets on my notes. That was, for me, really, really helpful. So good, Georgina. Yeah, there's nothing like actually getting into a store and seeing what's there. It's surprising, actually. How much is around? It's like I always say to people, get out there, go into the field, go to Barbie Nichols, go to the biggest Primark, Topshop, m and Harrods. You find so much just by going out into store. And I think we did just that. Oh, Do you want to see what we bought? Yeah, what do you buy? Porridge bars. Golden kiwis. Once you've had a golden kiwi, you will not go back. They are so good. And that's Bags. Delicious. Luxury Orkney oh. crab terrine. I think that's got to be the most <laughs> random shop I've ever heard of. I like to play the game when you're checking out, try and figure out a bit about people, what they're buying, Lucky. what people say about that. I Lucky. mean, I think they say they're on day release. <laughs> all in all. All in all, well worth it. Get down to Sainsbury's. Look at this. Georgie Courage Cole, what's on your desk? I think it's an advent calendar from Joe Loves. I think this might be my favourite advent calendar ever. Wow. Look. Look at this. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh look! Isn't that gorgeous? What's inside? Pomelo. Oh, so good. So good, Pomelo. Oh, look. Oh, it's one of my favourite candles. Yeah. This is log fires. Like really smoky. If you're looking to give someone a really nice candle this Christmas, this one, number forty-two, the flower shop. <sighs> what are you getting? I genuinely hand on my heart. I think the woman is a genius. Pink vetiver, I love a pink vetiver. Oh, it's got like, it's got peppercorns in. Oh, my favorite. See, I'm not lying about this stuff. This is the nicest having candle. Green, orange and coriander. I'm not gonna use that one, I'm not gonna waste it. Joe by Joe Loves. What does Joe by Joe Loves smell like? It's a grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Do you remember that from our success stories? Well, do you? It's oh, amazing. Okay. It smells fragrance all the time, but that genuinely smells like grapefruit, right? It smells oh. like you're peeling a grapefruit in the room. Number 11. Oh, plum pudding. Oh, it's Christmassy. Number 25. <gasps> oh no, there's a Christmas candle. Oh no, no, no. Full size. Full size. What's it smell like? Heaven. Christmas. I love Christmas. I love Jo Malone and her brand, Jo Love. She is an absolute genius, this woman. If you are in the market for spoiling somebody you love, this is what you should do it with. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Holly, where are we going now? We're going shopping. Where are we going? Right, another story. It like? really comes into its own during autumn, winter. Great knitwear, great blazers. Wow. I think those are two of my favourite things about going there. All year round, I love it, but particularly this time of year. So, looking forward to seeing what they've got. What are you having to find? There's a particular knitted jumper. Oh. I've tried it on a couple of times. Like, no, I'll put it on. Now it's sold out online. I'm regretting it. I'd like to find that one. What are you on the hunt for today? Good trousers, maybe in navy, grey, or black. I wear a lot of jeans. So I feel like I just need to change things up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to see if they've got anything like that. One item for autumn, winter 2019. What do you have to have? I have a couple. Yeah. Chunky knit, leather trousers, straight leg pair. Not much cooler for this season. Coat, long, fast one, one like this. Yes. Pair of ball trousers. And maybe just some good pair of boots. Yeah, what have you found? Hardy, great for wearing. With a pair of jeans, rolling up the sleeves. Don't wear anything underneath. Gold chain or something. And that wool as well. Not going to be itchy at all. Drop shoulder, cuff sleeve. Makes Cardi's cool. You might not think a Cardi's cool, but it is. Seen this on the website. Fina, it's a bit different, isn't it? 85 pounds. Not super duper cheap, but I reckon that's got a lot of wool in it. It's as close to wearing a duvet as you're going to get. And then get for this time of year. Not super super cold. You want to wear it wet. Let's try that on. Quite similar to what I'm wearing right now. Granddad zip jumper. I like these kind of turned up cuffs as well. Right, these are going to get tried on. Would love it if they came in navy. Everyone needs a good navy jumper in their life. That would look really cool for Cardi. Even. What is this stuff? Body souffle. Frothy vanilla soda on a rebellious rose bouquet. Sounds delicious. Is it actual leather? Yeah, it is. How many one now? How many we've got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. Eleven. Eleven. That's quite pretty. It looks like it's silky as well. You've got no time to try, you've got no time to buy. That's true, that's true. What are you most looking forward to trying on? This grey cable knit jumper and also the hapy poncho y hybrid. There we go. Find your size? Yeah. Meant to be? Cafe. Right, let's Half go. Half of these What are you wearing now? Cable knit grey v neck jumper. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Just as nice as I thought it was going to be. Slouchy oversized fit. Love this v-neck, quite a deep one. Really nice and slouchy. Love it. While well, we're here, I'm going to talk about the jeans as well. Straight fit ones. Quite a stiff denim. Good length, slightly cropped. Good pair of jeans. Nice wash. What you got now? White blouse. One of those pieces there work really hard in your wardrobe. Smart trousers, wood jeans. Or work. 
Cool play. Whatever, really. Polly Visea, what are you wearing now? Leather dress. Definitely out of my comfort zone. Like the kind of elasticated waist, pink like sleeves. Like edgy, isn't it? Pauls, you got the poncho on. How do you feel? Yeah, I actually like it. It's different. Good, so, different? Yeah, I think good, different. I think this would look cool with a pair of smart trousers as well. The leathers, I really like. Actually, a soft, buttery leather, proper straight leg. Fit lovely. And the crop is also really nice. Off. Branded style. Knit. Zipper. I would wear it like a jumper. Big fan of that. And then finally, we've got these grey ish jeans. Same style as the ones we tried on before, but just obviously a different wash. Frayed edges. A bit true to size. Nice around the waist. Nice through the leg. I like this distressed edge detail as well. It's still a bit of rock and roll, you know? Hey. How did that go? It went really well, thanks. There's some really good bits in there. Great knitwear as expected. Coats, good trousers. Definitely somewhere to up for autumn wardrobe staples. What were your three favourite finds? Grey, hey, on it jumper. I really feel like I need that in my life. Grey jeep, really good fit. And then I think that navy coat, really nice shade. Just the right structure or lack thereof. All in all, a really good trip to another story. So definitely check it out for your autumn winter wardrobe essentials. Thanks, Pauls. It's been great. Thanks, it's been real. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning, Georgie Corbis Cole. How are you? Well. What's going on today? Antonia. Is she here? Yes, she is. Hooray. Hosting her first show. Olivia is going on maternity leave. So Antonia is coming in. To take the reins. To take the reins. So that's this morning. Then I'm going to cross country if you really want to know. Are you competing or? I'm not. No, my daughter. I've decided I could give the others a chance this year. Let somebody else win for once. Uh, what's happening on the show? Ooh, it's best high street denim. Where do you get high street denim from? Well, I'm wearing Zara today. I'm kind of mom jeans. Can't say it without the accent. No, no, no. Mom, mom jean. And live cooking demonstration. There she is, hello! Oh, lovely to see you. Welcome to your first show. How exciting. I'm very excited. Good. Like good so pre-show bubbles. Good. Busy yeah. tummy, butterflies. Ah, good. Oh. What have we got here? Picking up a little noodle soup today. Vegan mushrooms. Yeah. What kind of mushrooms you got? Shimeji. Oh, shimeji. shimeji. Yeah. shiitake. Oh, shiitake, I know that one. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye. Today I'm in to host the Sheer Luck show because Olivia's having a baby. Oh, we're all having babies. We are all having babies. Yeah, Mine's like a really big baby. What are we talking about on the show today? I mean, you can't have missed that it's the royal tour. I Pakistan. did. Pakistan. No, I missed that. Talking about what Kate is wearing. Amazing colours, cool silhouettes, wearing some of her favourite designers. Didn't she wear so, something from New Look the other day? Potentially more up to date than anyone on this. Did Kate wear something from New Look the other day? Apparently she wore the shoes. The shoes? Oh, that great I mean, shoes. Look. No, the shoes. How do you feel about the future queen, potentially, wearing shoes from New Look? I feel really good about it. Else is to go down. Really, really Shall gorgeous. we? I've wanted to do this. For ages. And Georgie today. and I have talked about it for a really long time. I love Sherlock's and I love the girls and I love the show. So actually being in the hot seat is really exciting. Well, good luck. Thank you. Polly, how are you doing? We're going to do a denim takedown today and go through the best denim on the high street. What is the best denim on the high street? Hard to say one, to be honest. Are these all different? Yeah, I know they all look very similar, but they they've do. all got individual qualities. We're going to do some cutaways. You already shot those, right? Which ones look the best? The Zara ones here. These are actually my personal jeans. Also, the top shop. Editors, compare and contrast, see which one comes out top. Which brands do you have? Zara, Topshop, H&M, Weekday, 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 River Island, Market. Probably the boots are great. Are you pleased? Very pleased, <laughs> yeah. Where are they from? They're from office. I don't usually wear heels, but Charlotte convinced me that these would be really useful, and I think they are. Congratulations! With a how old bum? Eight months. Oh my lord. Well, they might, you never know. It, it might happen on the show, show. fingers crossed. All oh, my favourite things. Hello, nice to meet you. So you're one of the chefs? I'm not, actually. I'm just no. a bit of a whiz. So I do <laughs> marketing. <laughs> Digital marketing. All oh, right. I was hoping that you were on day release from Brixton. Oh, That's yeah, what I was no, really hoping. Where are you guys from? Social Pantry is an events and catering company, and we've also got five sites over London. A few things make us unique. Main thing is that 10% of my employees are ex offenders. Probably be saying, what are you wearing today? Jumper from another story, jeans from French Connection, and boots from Office. Laura Black, what are you wearing today? Zara Blouse, much loved by the Sherlock Office. Navy, HM, Cashman Knit, Next Coat of Jeans, and some stories. <laughs> such a good thickness. I really like the shape of it. Where's it from? It feels very soft. High Street Cashmere? I know, bargain, right? Where do you think people should go for their High Street Cashmere? Well, M&S is number one, but H&M has got a really broad selection this season. They literally have everything, trousers, pony legs, jumpers, short sleeve jumpers, like literally everything. I would like to interrupt that because I think I'm a bit of a High Street Cashmere connoisseur. I think Uniqlo is really good. Where would you go for your High Street Cashmere? I think I'd go to M&S. Antonio O'Brien, what are you wearing today? I think it's Issa Arfin for label mix. At next, brilliant. That is my shirt. My jeans are John Lewis and Partners. And then my boots are Joseph. Four, three, two. Hello and welcome to the Sheer Luck Show. I'm Antonia O'Brien. Some of you may recognize me from previous shows. Well, that was my first time in the hot seat. Done. The Sheer Luck team will be back next week 
and I can't wait to see you again very soon. Tony, how did that go? It was good. It was scary. You were point, but really good. It was, it was such a pleasure. How did it go? Good. Good, good. good I think. Good. good. This, this is heaven. Here's the finished bowl. The dish of my dream. How's it taste? That was so good, Alex. I was like, you'll be fine, so I'll just play the game and just go. I make preparation quite difficult. It's like midday on a Wednesday or something, so none of them can have like... How long is yeah. that? What's, What's the point of that? You having to do it for and he's like till 2024 and I was like oh <laughs> that wow. crime must have been so severe 2024 is that, that's how long probation is no, five no, years depends how long the, your sentence it's crime so dependent I was, how long was he in for a while actually so yeah, yeah. good and how great for you to talk about that you do it I love that I am so pro that that is like it's close to my heart rehabilitation and I love so much I'm sure it'll be fast can't wait to watch it oh whoa what's happening now oh hello oh, shit this looks so good Charlotte Lake Collins what are you eating now Summer roll. Rouleau de printemps, apparently. How's it taste? Delicious, Rich. Oh, I'm it's so really sad awesome. everyone likes it. Yeah, How amazing that looks. That looks like it's real art. You might have to come to Wandsworth, but at least you get some Rouleau de printemps. These are well. my favourite things like in the well, you. Can you tell me all about you? I just think what Social Pantry doing is just so amazing. I've worked for Alex. I was released from prison about a year and five months ago. I've been working with Alex nine months. And were you cooking when you were in prison already? Yeah, I've got experience with cooking as well. Did they teach you in prison to cook? Yes. You know, Laura went to the clink the other day. Yeah, yeah. I've worked to the clink as Did well. You? Did you? Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Such a great charity. Nice atmosphere. Isn't that just amazing? Yeah, and brilliant. can you tell us how long are you in prison for? I've done three years, nine months out of seven years. Because so so you had good behaviour? Yeah, good behaviour. Yeah, it was firearms. I was with someone that had firearms in their car. Four of us got arrested. But guns in your car, didn't it? It wasn't a real gun, it was like an imitation firearm, but they take that very seriously. And where are you from? I'm from around here, you know. I grew, oh, up, me in, too. I grew up Ballard, shooting Battersea, Wandsworth. I lived in Wandsworth all my life. Do you mind me asking? Was your dad around? No, the last time I saw my dad when I was six years old. And the funny thing is, I was in a children's home in Wandsworth, right opposite you were Southside. Children's when you room. went to prison, could you cook at all? I've always been able to cook. You've always at home liked cooking. Got children and stuff. But chefing and home cooking is two different things. I mean, Chef is about timing, timing stuff in the oven, bringing it out at the right time yeah, in yeah. the cooler, putting it in containers, labelling it so it goes out in the morning. Oh, totally different. So she came in, she then interviewed you. Yeah, interviewed, came and um, yeah, got the job. Yeah, she gave me a chance. Amazing. I've always got to be grateful for that. Fuck, give you. One thing I realised, even though you're an ex-offender, that is your past life. You know, if you're a president and you, you're willing to work, and someone I know, gives you the opportunity, so you've got to take. People like to judge you by your past, which stops you from achieving things. God, amazing work. Congratulations Brilliant. to you. Thank you. Thanks, Silver. Thank you. Oh, nice to meet you. Good luck. Thanks for coming to say hello. Oh, you nice. literally made my day, honestly. Oh, See you guys. Thank you. How amazing was that? What did we just do? We just met Silver. He's an ex con. He's been out of prison since he was 16, since he was dad since he was six. Been in a children's home. Long story short, Alex has scooped him up. God, she's doing a good thing, isn't she? I didn't realise that's what it was, Social Patrick. Makes sense now. Fucking brilliant. Go silver. Charlotte, where are we going now? We are en route to the House of India. Set, for want of a better phrase, a micro influencer. So we're about to launch a series where we highlight people on Instagram who have really cool style who you might not necessarily follow or who we think deserve a bit of attention. So India is going to be the inaugural participant. And it's so nice when you find someone new to follow. Obviously, I've got the classics that I always go to, and if you need a bit of style inspiration, you can always rely upon them. But it's also great to have some new faces in the mix. It's something that actually, historically, we've done for a long time. Time. First time we ever ran a feature on Laura Wills, the fashion bar blog. She had, I think, three and a half thousand followers. Oh the first time we ran a feature on Hannah Strafford Taylor, she had eight thousand yeah. followers. So we've got a bit of a legacy of finding people before they hit the blogging big time. How would you describe India's signature stuff? She's very current, big fan of brands like Reformation, Realization Park, oh. a lot of kind of like Insta brands. But she's also really good at making high street pieces of expensive shops. Yeah. And stories a lot. I'd say that's like her biggest yeah. high street go to. I think of her style as way more spring summer girl. So I'm interested to see her take on autumn winter. Yeah. Interesting to see what she's got. Hey, you. You. How are you? Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mystery. How would you describe your signature style? Comfortable. Lots of people describe it as chic and quite eclectic. Kind of put together, but definitely on the comfortable side. India Semi, what are you wearing now? This blazer I got from the Frankie shop. And other stories, zebra polo net. Favorite jeans, which are the Levi ribcage. Some boots from River Island. Guys, what do you like about this outfit? The blazer. I'm obsessed with the blazer. I actually remember now. It's in my editor's pick. Maybe last month's lush. I love how late. It's navy, but it's like a dusty charcoal navy. Summary. I'm really into the blazer. I'm actually really into it. Not that I don't like the blazer, I think the blazer is really cool, but the jeans. I'm gonna buy those jeans. Yeah, I like it with a bit of the, yeah, the skyline. Um, who are your style icons? Really? Oh, hello! 
yeah. yeah, classic Lucy Williams, Monique, but I would say their style is more fashion than mine. I get most of my fashion inspiration from Instagram. I actually work in influencer marketing. I'm looking at influencer content on a really regular basis, which is very dangerous for my bank account. India, what number outfit is this? This is outfit number two. And what are you wearing now? Scanny dress, Louis Vuitton belt, and other story sandals, little bag from Azarina. Lou, what do you like about this outfit? I love this dress. Such a huge fan of a square neckline and a puff sleeve. Scanny is obviously so well known for like incredible dresses, but it's nice to see something a little bit more wintry from them. And I love that she's offset the leopard print with the Louis Vuitton print belt, which I think looks really cool. Who are your favorite people to follow on Instagram? I love Monique, Lucy Williams. There's an amazing American influence called Disco Daydream. It's very cool, kind of effortless, chic style. She's definitely one of my favorites. You want to wear outfits? This outfit number three. Charlotte, what do you like about this outfit? The Burberry. Really desperate for a pair of trousers in that Burberry print, like a vintage pair of trousers. Like everything she's wearing is very classic. She's got a trench, got white jeans on, white trainers. Adding this pop of thin vintage print just makes it really current. What's your favorite item in your wardrobe? At the moment, I'd probably say this blazer. I got it last week and I just love the color of it. It goes with everything, which is great. One item for autumn 2019, what is it? I think it's got to be a chunky boot. Elevate an outfit, make something look cool immediately. A very of the season. What number outfit is this? Number four. This is really smart, but then it feels more interesting, I think, with the big puff sleeves. Really good workwear outfit when you want to be like dressy, but not boring. What does good style mean to you? I think it means just expressing yourself through your clothes. Good style can come in many, many forms. There are some different people that I admire that I think have good style, but they're not things that I would wear myself. Really nice. That's nice. Who are your favorite high-end designers? To be honest, I think that I really admire lots of the contemporary designers. The expensive, but mid-range. The Rixo, Love Shack fancies of the world. What a big thing for dresses. In terms of the high-end, I think Kate, spelled like K-H-A-I-T. Yeah, it looks like Kite, but it's actually yeah, exactly. Kite. Yeah, exactly. She's great. Regina Pierre, a beautiful eye. And to be honest, I try not to look too much at the high end because I can't afford it at the moment. The slip dress was the piece where everyone was talking about in the summer. For occasions and how, how you can style it. It's such a simple key piece to have in your wardrobe. But it's so nice how you can style your summer pieces like that for now. How did that go? Really, really good. The weather showed up for us and we got the most gorgeous autumn light in every picture and it just looks fab, great outfits. So yeah. job done. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.